Hello everybody. This week I signed up for the Rupert Spire retreat and it's about meditation. I think it's great unplugging and disconnecting from everything. I don't know who it was that said everything almost works greatly when you unplug it or disconnect it or reset it, right? So it's some kind of reset. Uh, I've been thinking about writing as well, you know, the, the power of writing and how it helps me to stay grounded. In many senses, I think it's about exploring myself, exploring what I'm what I'm up to, what I'm, what am I doing, and and the patterns that come up in my life. Um, I've been reading about Paul Millard's Paul Millard's approach to life. I think from the Pathless Path, and I think it's uh, I think it's impressive to to always know that we don't have to follow the default path, what everyone's telling you to, and and that helps with the with the Dharma. Remember that we talked about this, or yeah. If you don't remember about that, uh, I'm going to drop a link here in case you want to check out Dharma and how we have a, a unique acorn or mustard seed, if you can call it that way. So yeah, writing helps me ground myself, explore new ideas, see what my attention is is going to, what what, what it's doing, what I'm paying attention to, what I'm devoting my time to, what I want to dream about dialogues that go on in my head beautiful things that catch my attention and it's just a great way to to bend time i think when i'm writing not always of course sometimes i'm like oh my god i'm just rushing trying to capture an idea but other days i'm like wow just writing with this it's just like so expansive and it bends time and it feels like i'm just doing this forever yeah i love that and it, it's somehow about you know what it is that that keats poem no i'm sorry that robert frost poem two roads diverged in a yellow wood and sorry i cannot travel both and be one traveler long i stood and looked down one as far as i could to where it's bent in the undergrowth then took the other one as just as fair and perhaps with a better claim because it was grassy and wanted wear. For though that the passing there had warned them really about the same, in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first one for another day. Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubt if I should ever come back. Oh, I shall be telling this with a sigh, ages, somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. It's beautiful, right? Oh my God, I'm trying to, I don't know, I'm, I'm being aware of my body right now, how, did, how I'm walking through space, what it is, what's going on, what catches my attention, and just... Focus on being kind today. That's the aim of, of, of today's intention. Being kind, spreading joy, and yeah, smiling, smiling to people. Well, okay, they, they may think I'm a weird, that happens sometimes actually. Like I, I cross path with someone, I smile to them, and uh, they, wow, they were just like staring daggers at me. <laughs> but well, you can only control what you do, right? So that's uh, that's part of it. What about you? Do you like writing? Do you? I think it's a great great idea of exploring our thoughts and what's going on and trying to mold them and, and and see what's going on afterwards. When you detach yourself, when you get some separation from it, you can see that there's something going on that you know what you were up to that day and helps you to dream. I think. Yeah, well, that's today's reflection. If you enjoy it and you want to chat, drop me a message here. Not here, but here. <laughs> or, in on, or in Instagram, I'll be there. And if you would like to be part of this community, there's a subscribe button over there. Hope you have a good one.